our month-long science celebration, we will take you to another lineup of fun and exciting events. Are you ready for today's activity? Well, I hope you are all excited as we are. The science faculty in Libertad National High School prepared this virtual tour to our science laboratories. This is to inspire and give you a glimpse of some tools and equipment available in our school. Without further ado, let me introduce to you our two laboratory custodians. Dr. Nanette L. Samson is our Biology and Earth Science Laboratory in charge. Mrs. Ivy G. Hontalba is in charge of Physics and Chemistry Laboratory. Hello! Welcome to Earth Science and Biology Laboratory. Let us spare a little time today to take a look at the common laboratory tools and equipment so that when you take your first lab, you will be acquainted with some of them. We will show you a few of these things in a short while. Microscope a simple microscope is used to see the magnified image of an object. Anthony van Leeuwenhoek, a Dutch, invented the first simple microscope. Human torso Our body is consist of a number of biological systems that carry out specific functions necessary for everyday living. This human torso is a representation of such for lecture purposes. DNA. DNA is an information molecule. It stores instructions for making other large molecules called proteins. These instructions are stored inside each of your cells. Cells are the basic units of life in organisms of the kingdom plantae. This animal cell diagram depicts the structural organization of the animal cell. Animal cells, like human cells, use mitosis to grow larger cells, replace damaged cells, and repair injured tissue. Meiosis is a process where a single cell divides twice to produce four cells containing half the original amount of genetic information. Equatorial Reflector Telescope This telescope's combination of remarkable focal length and aperture means it will provide brighter views at any magnification compared to longer focal length telescopes, which makes it easier for everyone, and especially beginners, to locate interesting sights in the night sky. 
Using a telescope allows backyard stargazers to explore the sparkling night sky and search out interesting objects to observe. The solar system is represented in this model. This simulator model will help learners to pinpoint locations of planets in the solar system. It can also simulate planets' revolutions around the Sun, fixing viewpoint on another planet. This also supports a viewpoint guiding function for self-learning. Celestial Globe a representation of stars and constellations as they are located on the apparent sphere of the sky. Celestial globes are used for some astronomical or astrological calculations. Modeling plate tectonics movements for learning. The theory of plate tectonics revolutionized the earth sciences by explaining how the movement of geologic plates causes mountain building, volcanoes, and earthquakes. This is simulated through this plate movement model. This aims to show multiple interacting plates so students can observe interactions that are occurring at different places at the same time. Hello once again. I believe everybody's excited to know what are the things in store for us from this afternoon session. Welcome to the Physics and Chemistry Laboratory. The Science Laboratory can be an interesting place. It can also be a dangerous place if safety rules are ignored. Your school knows that safety is important, and so should you. While in the laboratory, you should do or have the following. Know the locations of laboratory safety wash stations and fire extinguishers. Avoid skin contact with all the chemicals by using hand gloves. 
It is also highly recommended to have a lab coat to protect your clothing and more importantly, protect your skin. You should also wear safety goggles or a face shield when performing any test where there is potential danger to the eyes. Wearing safety goggles is a must and must be worn at the lab at all times. Shoes that cover the top of your feet are very important also. This goes for the boys and girls. Minimize all chemical exposure. Assume that all chemicals of unknown toxicity are highly toxic. Following these important rules will help make your laboratory experience safer and enjoyable. Chemistry Tools and Equipment We're gonna start with some basic glasswares. These are beakers, flasks, and cylinders. Beakers. Beakers are useful as a reaction container or to hold liquid or solid samples. They are also used to catch liquids from titrations and filtrates from filtering operations. They come in various sizes. Erlen Mayer Flask We often do chemical reactions in flask. Its narrow head prevent chemicals from splashing. Beakers and flask only hold stuff, but we don't generally use them for measurements, even if they have lines and numbers. They don't have very good accuracy. Graduated cylinders are long, slender vessels used for measuring the volumes of liquids. Graduated cylinders are used to make fairly accurate liquid volume measurements. We can get a pretty good idea of how much volume we have if we read it correctly. The test tube is one of the most commonly used pieces of laboratory wear. Test tubes are the perfect shape and size to hold small amount of substances, usually liquid. Test tubes don't stand, so it needs a rack to keep them upright. Electrolysis is a technique that uses direct electric current, DC, to drive an otherwise non-spontaneous chemical reaction. Electrolysis is commercially important as a stage in the separation of elements from naturally occurring sources such as ores using an electrolytic cell. A funnel is a tube or pipe that is wide at the top and narrow at the bottom, used for guiding liquid or powder into a small opening. An aneroid barometer is an instrument used for measuring air pressure as a method that does not involve liquid. The conductivity apparatus consists of an electric lamp in series with open electrodes. Ammeter Instrument for measuring either direct or alternating electric current in amperes. A stopwatch is used to measure the time interval of an event. It is a kind of watch that stands out for the accuracy and precision with which it can measure the time of an event. The primary function of a circuit board is to connect all the electronic components of a device in a compact space. A mirror is defined as reflecting surface. There are three most common mirror glass types. The plane mirror, concave mirror, and convex mirror. A prism is a transparent, geometric, Optical object with a minimum of two polished plane, faces inclined relative to each other. 
Scientific hot plates are generally used to heat samples in glass speakers, flasks, vials, bottles, and other vessels. In addition, you also need to know how to weigh a variety of chemicals you will use in your lab activity. Weighing scales and balances measure weight by measuring the amount of force exerted on the load cell. They then convert that result to mass and display it in various units. That concludes our session for today. This has been your host, Teacher Elvira, reminding you to continue to dream high despite this pandemic. Once again, happy learning! Thank you.